of Ramasamy Periyar, who was a very important leader from the 1920s onwards, and who wrote and spoke a great deal in public about fighting caste, fighting the hegemony of the dominant caste, particularly the Brahmins. And what struck me was his language was very forceful. He was very satiric. He was very critical, but he was committed to nonviolence. He didn't think that you could actually address the question of birth-based inequality as it exists in India through any form of violence. You cannot escape thinking about Ahimsa when you read Gandhi. It's such a bind on you, right? So uh, at the same time, you also get frustrated because there are other things that you sort of find problematic about Gandhi. But then with this whole Ahimsa thing, you feel there is something here which you can't just let go. Because you need to distinguish between using force to fight a brute form of injustice and being very aware that having used force and successfully conquered injustice, you don't retain force for all times. This was very important for Ambedkar. Of course, he was a great pragmatist in the philosophical sense. He wanted law to be effective. He wanted the constitution of India to be meaningful. But to what purpose? The purpose was this, yeah. that you become a more humane person and that you recognize the suffering that you've caused and the Dalit, the untouchables, so-called untouchables and those who are at the receiving end of the caste order find that humanity recognized and affirmed. Ambedkar found that equality was the core of the Buddha's Dhamma. Mm. And, and of course, because the Buddha was not interested in disquisitions about the soul or God and so on, mm. the mind was left free to explore the nature of the universe or the social universe. So I think for Ambedkar, the attraction of Buddhism was that it's about the relationship of human beings to each other, not about human beings and God. And Ambedkar beautifully puts it, he says, Karuna is of course very important. Karuna is compassion. But he says, Great, greater than Karuna is Maitri. Mm. It's, it's one step above Karuna because it's not simply compassion, it's fellowship. Yes. It's where we actively desire to be together in equality, mutuality and respect. Conversion marks a passage from graded inequality to fraternity, mm. if you were to understand it that way. And Ahimsa becomes important there because if you have to stay fraternal, if you have to take in seriously that greater than Karuna is Maitri, then you will constantly have to work at justice on the one hand and Maitri on the other. Yeah. Which is why he has his Buddha say, the Buddha was for justice, but for justice without bitterness or hatred. Mm. And I think this was what Ambedkar was striving for. Think of our fellow citizens, those we consider um, resourceless, those we consider the very poor and the very oppressed. They are the ones who set standards for fighting injustice. And how do they do that? Not just through protests, but the way they take the law of this land seriously. They take the constitution seriously. The 150 times that they're willing to climb the stairs of the local court to again depose before a judge. The 25th time that they don't mind telling you the story of what happened to them. Where does that come from? A deep faith that we as a people have built something together, given ourselves these common and just laws. And those laws should and must protect me, you know. And for me, that's a very humbling experience watching uh, uh, a scheduled, uh, a tribal person, an Adivasi person, a Dalit woman work with the courts, protest again civilly, non-violently for something she wants. And again and again, they remind us we have no right to be cynical. We have no right to feel hopeless. We can, of course, despair. We can feel angst as all of us do, but that's a different matter. But to take faith and courage from those who have taken faith and courage from Baba Sahib, from, from others like him. And I think Ambedkar for me stands for that spirit of enormous faith in the possibilities of a reconstructed world. And, and, um, and, and he didn't let anything stop that vision from becoming real for him the other.